global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome to Global Happenings Today. We have a trending news here for you. And the headline of the news reads, Northern youth queue behind Northern elders blast Buhari demand him to resign as his worse than Jonathan. Alright, but before we continue with details of the news and further analysis, we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button for those of you who have not subscribed. And also click on the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish videos on YouTube. Alright, let's look at the news in detail. The Coalition of Concerned Northern Youth, CCNY, has asked President Muhammadu Buhari to honorably resign as Nigerians are tired of his woeful performance. The coalition, in a statement signed by its national convener, Mohammed Ishad, and made available on Wednesday, cited the president's lack of the willpower to tackle security challenges facing the country. This call by the Youth Coalition followed a similar call by Ango Abdullahi led Northern Elders Forum NEA, which had at the weekend declared the administration of President Buhari a total failure. The group said it has warned Nigerians that Buhari has nothing to offer to them, adding that the president has failed to tackle the insecurity and improve the economy. NEF said Buhari led administration appear helpless in finding solution to the numerous challenges the country is faced with. The Northern Youth added they are both named coalition which wishes to make its position clear regarding the insecurity problem that has been ravaging Nigeria and particularly the Northern part for long. We as a coalition that represent millions of youth from various nooks and crannies of Northern Nigeria are pain by the insecurity problem that threatened to consume our region, the North. It is a glaring fact that the security situation of Nigeria is seriously deteriorating and our agony as victim is aggravating. This lingering insecurity problem is one of the major reasons that made us to clamor for change and voted Good Luck Jonathan out in 2015. But instead of getting panacea for the problem, we just got respect and now the problem has been resurfacing with escalating dimensions under the wash of someone that vowed to be our savior. The group noted that it's almost five years now and the country under the wash of Boari is either washed than the Jonathan administration and it is no difference from the previous government despite the fact that in his first term Buhari pledged to Buhari pledged that his government will bring an end to national suffering inflicted by insecurity. I stand as youth and backbone for nation is that we grow tired of excuses while our lives are being taken on hourly basis. We cannot continue watching while our region is being turned to ashes and cemetery. We cannot keep mute while our future is being punctured and fractured due to the carelessness and negligence of those that are entrusted with our protection. Our investigation reveals that about 80% of the victims of this insecurity are Nigerian youth, particularly Northerners, considering the fact that the, kidnap and the kidnappers are most, mostly youth, the killed and the killers are mostly youth, the soldiers on war front and the terrorists are mostly youth also. It is unreliable and available records that not less than 245 persons were killed in violence attack across Nigeria in January 2020 only. The expert insider survey of 2019 by Internations has revealed that Nigeria is the third most dangerous country in the world due to the widespread insecurity and corruption. The aforementioned facts have irrefutably shown that Muhammadu Buhari as president of Nigeria has woefully failed to secure the lives of Nigerians due to 
probably lack of will, commitment, or competence. If we did not forget, when Nigeria was boiling under Jonathan with Boko Haram massa massacring thousands and over and overrunning military barracks, almost all Nigerians believed Jonathan was not fit to rescue Nigeria and was voted out. Now that the same insecurity problem is replaying itself under President Muhammadu Buhari, we are left with no option than to respectfully but fervently call on President Muhammadu Buhari to honorably resign to give room for someone who is capable and who has what it takes to address the security problem that constantly turn our nation to another vision of Somalia. The above call is made in the best interest of the nation, having considered the fact that insecurity problem is caused and maintained by nothing but the failure of leadership. Wow, that is from the Northern Youth. And for me, it is a heartfelt um, request that they are putting forward to uh, the president of Nigeria, Muhammadu Buhari. And this has triggered a lot of responses from Nigerians. Uh, this one says, the northern youths are ranting at the solution to their problem rather than hailing him. Sir, PMB is advocating compulsory education to better their lives and make themselves sufficient rather than waiting for handouts. But they are sad. Ah, the day of handout are painfully over, boys. I don't know what that one is saying. This one saying, no, let him continue. That time you say, him be your na savior. Your eye don't play. <laughs> uh, wow, that's a serious one. And this one saying, who are those faceless northern youth? They are a bunch of clowns. They paid agent of satanic politician who cannot even win their polling unit during an election. That's somebody saying, one uh, one individual said that, and he got a reply immediately. And the reply said, so irresponsible of you making this statement, Nigeria will soon come to a standstill. Take it or leave it. Another one replied again, said, those northern youths are not faceless. You know it. Just a matter of little time, the navigation and compass of Nigeria will be more clear. Another one added his voice, says, so are you saying that insecurity problem in Nigeria should continue because they mentioned Buhari or he's your brother let's know your stance so many um people are talking here because this issue of insecurity is not only in the south 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 east southwest it's also happening right in the north because a lot of people are passing through severe pains and trouble as most of the watch with their eyes wide open as some of their fortunes are going down the drain to save the spines. And uh, this is one of the things we are going to be looking at seriously because I believe that this issue should be handled with all amount of seriousness. If it's not handled with seriousness, it's going to really inflict more pains on Nigerians and not only on Nigerians, but mostly the Northerners who are, you know, at the forefront of this attack. And that's what we're going to be discussing in a Jiffy. Now, now one of the things that they have placed as a request is um, can... Uh, it's the same thing that the elder said, the northern elder said. And the first person on the queue here uh, was actually Senator, Senator Abaribe, Abaribe yes. when he demanded that when the president resign. should immediately resign because it's very glaring that he doesn't have the willpower to attack the level of insecurity. And he threw up a lot of examples. For example, mentioning the case of one of the senators in Niger who cried out when he went to his constituency and saw the level of damage done by Boko Haram. He had to and cry and ban kidnappers also he had to cry out that his people are not living in peace they are living in trouble and state. yeah in Niger state so plateau is being hit down and I just heard that Muhammad Buhari had gone to he has traveled down to Medugri to you know uh, uh, console some of those who were killed you know some travelers who were traveling about 30 of them were murdered gruesomely murdered by Boko Haram and uh, there's well, a lot of the demand right now so What's your position on guess this? Guess so Before even now, Buhari had actually promised that he's not going to he's, no, he's going to climb down seriously on Boko Haram. There shall be no mercy. Only for the very next day, yeah. this whole thing happens. It's getting worse. That's by to the tell day. you that they are not even scared of whatever president. Maybe is, is it because uh, is it that we lack the skill, the manpower? I think, and then this is the reason why the, a lot of people have been calling for the, the, chief, the, the security, security chief, chief to, to resign, resign. Yes. bring and, in competent because I believe. 
You know, because one of the things that this may possibly result to may be a takeover by the military. If nothing is being done. If nothing is done. A repeat of what happened in 1985 may happen again. Don't forget that General Danjuma says there's a lot of things he knew, but he later didn't mention that if he says Nigeria will boil. Exactly. So a whole lot of things are happening almost at the same time. Yeah. And the center seemed not to be holding. Holding, exactly. You know, I hear this this other group from um, Yoruba, ethnic Yoruba group, who said they want to secede. Yes. You know. And all of them boils down to the same security issues. Security issues. Getting me. Was, you, know, you know, at the beginning, when the North were playing politics, saying it's our brother, they did not understand that if today Nigeria is to divide, they don't have a home. Of course, of course. All the all the terrorists, banditry is as if they are producing it back to back, coming from the North. Yes. From ISI, ISWAP is from the North. Boko Haram is from the north. Fulani Headsman is from, from the, the north. There's another those uh, of some uh, other guys. Uh, and Saru, uh, yes. uh, Narudin Asaru. Uh, that's a new one that came up now. That one, that one kills everything and anything. Cow, everything. They kill anything that is alive. They, they are going to be quite deadly. They're also from the north. Yes. So if they say Lexus, maybe that's one of the reasons why the, the core houses do not want the secession. Yes. Because if they secede, they will have to battle their land with the Fulanis. Yes. You know, because already Fulanis have started claiming. You know, there's a difference between well, Fulanis and, and the houses. Yes. Was also there. You know? So everybody seems to be taking the chunk, chunk parts of the land. And if they secede, my honestly, there's no land for the north, the core north, that's the, the houses. So they need to be one. And that's the one more reason why you see in the northern elders, that's the core houses say, look, guy, you need to resign. Because yes. you're not doing anything. Flanny headers are taking our lands, they're killing us in, the, in our quantum. Nothing is happening. At least Boko in, the days, in the days of Jonathan, oh, wow. they, they were not this much. And yeah. we could see genuine act from you, him. You know, one of the reasons why most of them supported him, uh, that's, I'm talking about some of those who were very objective. The reason why they gave him their support was the fact that he is a military man, a Ex- retired military. military. Yes. So the, it was believed that the reason why Jonathan couldn't combat uh, Boko Haram was he because has little, he was knowledge. just a common civilian. Yeah. So he may not have adequate idea on how to you know go about this or how to select service chief who are going to fight this thing down. But unfortunately, the military person has taken over, and there is you know this. Uh, geometrical increase, you know, it's multiplying yes. right now. From exponential, to, uh, exponential, it's yeah, exactly. Exponential. It's increasing it's, far in beyond a, expectation. It's speed, the speed of light, in fact, it's yeah. so amazing. Now, if if you look at it, if they keep calm and they say, let's still be playing brother to brother but politics, that, yeah. they're losing their homes. homes. You know, you begin to see most times go to. If you're living in Nigeria, you see there's some sections known for the houses. Some of them have run out of the northern North, part. Exactly. And they're now staying in the southwest, southeast. They just want peace. Now, and who's driving them? Probably the house of Fulani. Yes, I engaged one of these house guys. And the guy was like, man, that coming down to the south to do what he's currently doing, to the southeast, and doing what he's currently doing is not his making. That everything he had, he's a farmer. He does a lot of farming, but everything has been taken away from him, and he's almost starting afresh. And see him, a grown man, look at the kind of business he was selling, you know, all this stuff that they, you know, carols and the likes. And say, look at him, he has to do this because he has lost virtually everything he had, and he had to run with his family. And his life is more important than every other thing. And you now realize that they are increasing in those uh, south, 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 southeast, and the southwest. You realize that their numbers are increasing. And imagine now if it happened that southwest or southeast. Or southwest decide to secede from Nigeria. South uh, east so, also secede from Nigeria. Then where, would they go to? where are they going to go to? Because back immediately the they will secede, they will send them packing back, back, back to, to the north, where there is no and home. there is no home there for them. I, I think right now the northerners need to sit him down and give him a timeline. And tell him, sir, if you can't get this thing fixed between this timeline, please get out of that seat. Because yeah. right now, it's not the issue of brotherhood again. It's the issue of, it's it's an emergency. It must be handled. Even to some extent, they're beginning to feel that maybe, just maybe, he's actually not doing anything about the security yes, issues. Yes, exactly. You know, all these issues of uh, Fulani Hesman have attacked the farmland. Fulani Hesman have killed some certain people. Fulani Hesman have raped. How many really have they captured 
imprisoned the nigerian sees the effect all we get to hear is oh they have uh, the police have captured them and that's the end sometimes they take them down to abuja yeah, and that's, that's all we get to hear what so, blows my mind you know, most was this recent issue that we've been talking about it quite often the case of uh, 1400 boko haram alleged to have repented been released again now the first question that hit my mind is if you are releasing me and i pretend to have repented from my evil deeds and i walk back to my own village and notice that the people whom i claim i have repented and i don't want to have anything to do with them they are gaining momentum and they have taken over the whole of my village don't you think i would join them again and begin to you know fight again because if for example you I, the reason why i'm getting out of the place is like oh i'm going to start a new life and all of and i realize my people are getting stronger we are conquering more land me say maybe i didn't have so much land and i'm coming out and they are telling me i joined the force again we are sweeping through we are almost getting southeast uh, the total of sand. don't you think i'm joining them the question is have they truly repented is it, not, is it not a line they must have sold to them? Look, exactly. If you say you've repented, we could do something about it. Look, I guess they have started reading the lines. They've started reading between the lines. They've started seeing the, the, the handwriting on the wall that, look, if they continue playing, then my brother did for position. It's a matter of time. If eventually, as the center, they said things are falling apart, the center seem not to hold. If the center does not hold and other ethnic group begin to secede and leave the country, they may not have a home. Because if they're going to have a home, it has to be the North. And who are those in the North? The terrorists. So they may need to fight their way back to get their land, or they end up being slaves to those whom they have called brothers before. All right, well, that's where we're going to leave it. Please go to our comment section. Let us interrupt. What's your position on this issue? It's really a vital issue. Guess what is sweeping across the southeast? Even and right now, it's coming down to... Sorry, sweeping across the northeast. Sorry. The northeast have really felt more than everyone. Borotai talked about the southwest that already in is Lagos. in Lagos. We yes. have, and I think fairly reason about 400 of them were captured on yes. their way down, down to, to Lagos. Is, yeah, to Lagos. So you realize mm -hmm. that these guys are widespread for them the belief that they have taken over the south and the not the northern part of nigeria the middle belt they are living in real fear because these guys are taking over like never before we are hopeful that something will be done about it and uh, i'm afraid that the military may likely take over when it seems nothing is being done. However, let's be hopeful that uh, this same news will be getting to the ears of those who are in the hymns of our faith and they will do something about it. Don't say that these guys are faceless. They are not faceless. We have seen it's right, right now. Even the president has felt it to a point that he has to, he had to travel to uh, Medugri, you know, to go and see.